Hello and welcome to the Cowboy for Game Yu-Gi-Oh! podcast. This is the ban list special. Woo! The first time... To- <laughs> <laughs> we've we, we, uh, Yeah, we have a live studio audience, and uh, it's the <laughs> biggest one we've ever had. It's the 1990s. <laughs> yep. Actually, yeah. there's there's more audience members than there are us. That's generally how it works. There's more audience. Ooh, oh no, he's used logic. Oh no, <laughs> it's super effective. Let's hiss at him. <laughs> 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 um, but yeah, this is our ban list. Uh, predictions episode. So, um, Jake. Yeah. Let's just get started. What are your band list predictions? All right. So, on my list, I have at zero, nothing. Hmm. Interesting. Being limited, I am saying VFD, Miscellaneousaurus, Macabre, Cyber Angel Benton, and Firewall. Hmm. At semi limit, I have E Telly. And at three, I have Darkness Metal Dragon. Yeah, Red MD is a pretty easy it's choice, a safe I feel bet. like. Yeah. Yeah. Um, we'll go through a few lists of people. We had a few people send their lists in. Um, Are you going through everyone else's list so you can get an idea for your own list before you start? No, I've, we've recorded this before. I've already got. But we lost the recording! Andrew. Says he wants uh, VFD band and he wants LP band. I don't really know. People keep saying this thing about Dragon Link being like a top contender. I don't see it. Yeah, me either. Dragon Link sucks. If everything gets nerfed, does it mean Dragon Link's good again? I mean, it means it's good, but it doesn't mean that, like, oh, you need to ban LP in case dragons become good. Like, when aren't dragons good? There's two things that Konami liked. It's anime titties and dragons. And six-year-olds. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, that's Mega Capital G. Um, <laughs> he's got Ben 10 going to one. That's his whole limits. And mm. he's got Digusto Emerald to three. Which I think's fair. Yeah. Um, I don't really see a need for Emerald to go to three, though. I think it's fine where it is. I don't think Gustos are getting any better. If it goes to three. Oh, yes. Gustos. <clears throat> famously using Di Gusto. It Emerald. would only be abused uh, if it goes to three, I think. Well, what deck at the moment realistically would abuse having Emerald at three? Um, I don't know, but I think more stuff is viable to come back if it's not at three. Like, I think leaving it at one just means, let's say, for some reason, Rat was to come back. Or Tiger, even. At that, like Lunar Light Tiger, at that point, Emerald starts getting a bit loopy if it's at three, or more than one. I think we're at one, it's fine, it's never really going to cause a problem again. At three, there's only potential for it to uh, to become an abused thing in the future. Yeah, I can see some logic in that. Do they never errata it? They've never yeah. errata it. What errata would it be proposed well, to have? A hard one's going to turn? Because at the moment, FTK decks and stuff would abuse it at three. True. Because mm. Also, Braggart's joined us. Yeah. He's we come from, we have called look, We have called someone from the audience and they've joined. Like, everything else before now, I sleep. Digusta Emerald at three. <laughs> <laughs> it shouldn't be at three. I think it's fine at one. Yeah, it... At, at, is it, at three, it, it literally gets... No finished. deck needs multiple copies of it either. No, it's... it's you're, the only way it's going to three is if it's becoming an, uh, an abused thing like it was with Sue. Hmm. Um, Who said that? Uh, Andrew. Fuck. Andrew. But also... Oh, he has ulterior motives. Um, someone else has it at three. Um, so we'll move on to Logan's list. <laughs> Logan has VFD and Ben 10 getting banned. Ben 10. <laughs> um, I'd support that. Audience isn't laughing, though. Well, they are now. Audience doesn't understand Look, they're not though. hissing, so I'm okay with that. <laughs> We're at a happy medium at the moment. Um, he's got nothing going to one. He's got some semi-limits, though. Uh, <laughs> uh, 
He's got Scarlet Sanguin going to two, and e Tilly going to two. Oh, yeah. Surely he means Scarlet Sanguin to one. Sanguin to two, just... A semi limit doesn't really do that much, because, like, realistically, they can sub a spell for the one that they're missing, yeah. the reborn spell, and it works exactly the same. Hmm. Whereas hitting it to one actually makes an impact. Yeah. It... Two, I mean, two... Fox of the deck a little bit. Like when they first hit Tanky and Rota, they put him to two. Like, I, yeah, but I, how long ago was that? Like, like the speed sure. of the game was completely different then. So hitting a card to two actually does make a difference back then. But Whereas, like, if you hit Tanky and stuff now, say, like, there's other options, there's other cards. Like, I think you have to, at the moment, semi limits don't do that much in terms of slowing something down as they did back then, because the speed of the game is so fast and there's so many different, like, generic options to get to what you'd want to. It's still a small hit to consistency, though. And, like, especially Scarlet Sanguine already being sort of searchable, like, pseudo-searchable. Well, actually, entirely searchable. Um, if uh, if I was the one making this prediction, like how I justify it is, uh, no one else is. I don't think anyone else is going to predict it at that thing, so it gets you an extra point in our little game. And then also, Konami's Konami, and they can they can do wild shit all the time where it doesn't really make it like it doesn't make a whole lot of sense, and it isn't a good idea, but they'll do it anyway. That's why I would. That's why I would predict it going to two. But also, Logan's a fucking nut, so who knows what's going on in that kid's head? Konami yeah. doesn't like well, the, the two list. <laughs> Should we also... Sem- Konami TCG doesn't like semi-limits. OCG? 100%. Loves a semi-limit. Yeah, but like, and I think it's fair, because yeah. I think that's smarter. But it's all well and good, but then there's just like going to be that list that ha- like that they'll just put stuff to two for. Like They'll just break their mold because they're, they're fucking crazy. Hmm. I should point out as well that um, in his current clusterfuck of 60 cards, Logan is playing um, Eldritch. So, again, there could be ulterior motives to only wanting a semi-limit. Yep. Hmm. He, he Welcome to the wish list. He, he, I at mean, the moment he's at 61 cards, he needs a reason to drop it to two. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He yeah. wants to run another um, Ultimate Conductor Tyrant. Hmm. <laughs> and as referenced before, he's got Emerald going to three and Red MD going to three. Um, Jesse's list. Um, he's got VFD banned. And then he's got the dumbest shit I've ever seen. He's got five cards going to two. <laughs> that would double the amount of... It would more than double the amount of cards at two, right? Yeah, there really isn't there's, a lot There's of three cards at right two, right? There. Yeah. It's, this, it would be dumb. He's got Cursed Eldland going to two. Ben 10 going to two, which would affect exactly nothing. Um, Electromite going straight to two. (laughs) You know how it got banned when it was at one, when it wasn't good? Straight to two. He's got Firewall going to two. White. And he's got Meltdown going to two. Meltdown to two is such like a... You can tell he plays Invoked now. (laughs) He's like, Meltdown to two, that's fine. Uh, (laughs) uh, And Unlimited, he's got Red MD. Um, If... If these are to one, I can kind of understand it, but he wrote semi, which would mean two. Or that he's halfway to being... <laughs> <No>. Yeah. <laughs> A silly sausage. Um, Play with me. This is... <laughs> this is my favourite list so far. I would much... I would okay. very support this happening if mm. it was to one or to two, of course, because Electromite... But ah uh, yes, Electromite, that's the thing. Hmm? Man, oh, oh well I mean your hit no. of Mecha Vidal One, that would totally nerf <laughs> Um Anyway, <laughs> on to Seb. <laughs> Seb said, I can't remember what I said on the last pod. Even shocked he was on it. Uh think it was like Ben VFD, Limit Ben Ten, Multi Roll to Two. <laughs> True Kings to three. <laughs> Look, I'm and for not, anyone who's uh, not aware, Seb plays Sky Striker and True Draco. <laughs> Seb played True Draco for like three years. 
No, for like two years. Boo. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. Um. I reckon Masterpiece could come back. Fucking what? It's not as good as Dragoon. Dragoon exists. I Way mean, more accessible than Masterpiece. I mean, Any sure. two monsters is Dragoon. Masterpiece, you have to like... Diagrams at one. You have to draw it. It's not even as good... Uh, of protection as Dragoon. Because Dragoon is any targeting or destruction. Um, and Dragoon's a hard negate. Masterpiece is a, a one pop. Yeah, I suppose... Yeah, if, yeah, if you think about it, like, having Dryden at one is, like, mm. equivalent to having Thingo at one. Uh, yeah. Masterpiece. Like, exactly. they're effectively the same monster. Yeah, somewhat. And I, I just don't... I don't think it's going to happen, but I think true Joker players, as much as I despise them and hate them, <laughs> they should get Masterpiece back to one with everything else staying exactly as it, as it is right now and see what happens. And if it goes well, then maybe true King of Three. How bad can it be? But like, it's just, what does that achieve for them if they put, like, wouldn't they just be more tempted to leave Masterpiece dead and buried in the ground because they're just they're just not a part of their future like products so well yeah like they might they might do stuff they could please, please don't I want to sleep tonight I don't want to be dreaming of true Draco support in 2021 well it'll be trash like all Altergeist supporters being I don't think that's entirely fair look at the Altergeist synchro yeah but that's anime or ul- related or the Altergeist uh trap that summons itself again like relating um what would you call it like dual terminal related cards to anime cards Mm -hmm. not entirely fair Mm. like those cards have to come out in some capacity because they're in the anime for the most part yeah i mean should also dual terminal there right yeah they got support that's good enough that you know should also Moving on to my list, because it <laughs> goes in. Uh, I'm going to say Winda to Zero. That's my only ban. Winda is getting banned. Wish list! <laughs> it, it is the... I think it is... One of the most oppressive cards in the entire game as of right now. I th- would much rather be not able to attack or activate monster effects on the field then go up and I can only summon I can only special summon once against something that can't be destroyed by card effects I'm just not a fan of that card, I think it's oppressive I think it creates unfun game states and I think Shiddles can live without it Uh, so I think it needs to go it should also have had a year with the st- structure deck support, and also it's a way to hit the um, the brain is not working in the way I intended it. Dogmatic card. That is the stuff. Yeah, it's a way Nadir Servant being a plus four. It's I mean, and Nadir Servant will find other ways to be busted with other fusion deck. Oh, for sure, and I think that's entirely fair, <laughs> as long as it's not you know make Shekinaga. have it have a negate. Instead, don't, don't make Winda. <laughs> Just <It's>, don't. <laughs> please, I beg. Um, Thank you for not pointing out my brain reverting to 2007. Mm. Uh, but that's my ban. Um, limited, I have VFD. Um, oh, quickly, on a wish list, I'm not going to predict it's happening. But something earlier today made me realise that a card should get banned. Gateway of the Six needs to be banned. It exists only yep. for FDK. Yep. 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 It needs to be banned. It's never been in anything positive, has it? No. It is a degenerate card that only exists to rob your opponent of a chance to play. Um, and such it needs to go. I think Six Sam should get some support that replaces somewhat what it does. Like, in and it, terms it's of. It's called the Link. Sure, then they can't exist at the same time. 
The link also collects counters. The link also allows them to do things with said counters. I don't think it's the same things as Gateway, though. Well, no, they're meant to coincide with each other, but they yeah. can't. Well, yeah, absolutely. They're two degenerate... Um, because it's like you look like you just realized where you were. Pretty much just <laughs> Shogun, I think it's called the link. The link itself is an FDK, um, and that's because Gateway. So Gateway needs to go, and they need to get something that works with Shogun, but not in a way that results in infinity counters. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how you do it, um, but that's not my job. My job is to sit here and criticize Konami. Did I just completely remove that card from my, my brain? Quite possibly, yeah. Brain? You do seem very lost. <laughs> <laughs> Where brain? Yeah, I completely forgot the Six Samurai Link Monster existed. Yeah. yeah. Next you'll tell me there's an next season. Is Makura at three yet? Or is it one? Um, mm, um, did it go point. straight to three? I can't remember. It might have. Did it? Sure. <laughs> Did they even like a rider properly? It wasn't it? Did, wait, it, was, it was out for like three or four days on a rider. Yeah. Yeah. Because it hadn't been printed or updated in the database. Mm -hmm. And then everyone in the YouTube community was like, oh my god, FTKs! <laughs> and then four days later, it's like, no, you morons, a rider. Mm. I also think. Um, is it a three or one? Look, <laughs> the, the database doesn't say anything, so I'm going to assume it's unlimited, right? That's how it works. Uh, let's check the wiki. Oh, God, it's fucking... The wiki is so rubbish on mobile now. There was a moment where it was, it was okay on uh, mobile. Mine still says it's forbidden, so... Did they just... No. Oh, yes, that is mine. That's it's dumb. not... It's definitely not still forbidden. Yeah, 100% it's not. I don't know why it's saying it is. That's dumb. Anywho... I need to know, because <laughs> if so, I think I can make some easy points here. <laughs> Unlimited TCG. Unlimited TCG. Yeah. Semi-limited OCG. Yeah. Huh. So what? <laughs> so, yeah. To one, VFD. Uh, of course, I think... Um, I think Gossiping Shadow, if anything, should get banned. Because um, if you put VFD to one, and Gossiping Shadow to zero... All of a sudden, Virtual World have one VFD to play with. That's if you draw no hand traps. Um, and if not, they have to rely on their already really good toolbox um, of other cards. So, um, but once again, that's which list, not ban list. Um, I think Ben 10 is going to go to one. I think that for right this second, that's a good enough hit for Drytron. Um, I know Drytron players... I heard Andrew say, Virtual World is twice as good as Drytron. You must be playing it wrong. Surely. Drytron are insane. I don't know whether, like, it's just different builds or, like, a bit of luck involved with it. Like, like I know Duck's been unlucky with Virtual World. I don't know whether Luke and um, Andrew are the same with um, Drytron. But from the boards that I've faced from them, they aren't all that bad like they can be somewhat oppressive like if they can manage to get the ultimateness and the vanities ruler with like sufficient negates then sure it's like mm. a fairly big board but for the most part if you have a, a good timed interruption for their board like they won't end up being it's nearly that impressive the mix of insane consistency along with herald which Herald pluses, in a way. Um, that's sort of what I don't think is a fun game state. The other so thing that's is why... too, I don't, know when, I don't think they've even announced it, but there is meant to be the Herald normal summon that we get fairly soon as mm. well, which dumps um, Arclight, which then searches them a ritual. Yeah, the XYZ too, right? I got the Drytron XYZ coming out. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Um, so I could see that replacing certain things um, in the deck. But anyway, Ben 10 to 1 for now. Um, 
The problem with Ben, uh, the problem with Drytron right now, and I said this to Luke when I was versing him the other day, uh, is that they realized they could give up one negate with Herald for a uh, Dragoon. Yeah. Um, and to me, that's fucked, and that's probably what's going to get the deck hit, is that it's evolved to a point where now it ends on everything they had, plus best boss monster in the game, Dragoon. Yeah. Um, well, are they going <clears throat> Ultimateness and Dragoon, or are they going... Ultimateness rule- and Dragoon. Okay. Why don't they just go Ruler Dragoon? I think it loses harder to Dark Ruler... Wouldn't it lose the same? I think there's some interaction there that I'm not thinking about, but um, anyway. stuff like that. Yeah, um, but that's what I'm pretty not keen on. No, I'm just gonna say <laughs> that no every re- time I look over at Bragg, he looks like Winona Ryder at that <laughs> Grammy, um, no, that um, Oscars thing, and he just looks completely lost. I wish my roommate was for Winona Ryder. I just steal your shit, huh? <laughs> oh, oh yeah, Brad, I borrowed some of your bread. <laughs> How do you borrow bread? Like the frozen bread? Or did I leave oh, this it was just like a week ago. Oh. That was a long. Wait. <laughs> yeah, you left it out, I think. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's before. That's fair. I was getting back at you for being Winona Ryder. Or for not being Winona Ryder. <laughs> Fucking. If only bread grew on trees. Anyway. Um, dear servant to one. Oh my god, you're a madman. That's to way too early. No, dogmatic uh, is done with this. Wait, hold on. Whether, it's over. It's not. Oh, fuck, I missed it. Anything that comes out from now is replacing Nadir. It's not. It is. It isn't. Nadir servant to one, most broken card in the game. Well, that may be true, but it doesn't mean it's going to happen. That's what I'm saying. I don't want any hits to invoke. Just dogmatica. Uh, Electromite's gonna go to one. Firewall's gonna go to one. Um, I don't think Utelli's gonna go to two while Virtual World is as big as it is. I would love for it to, for mutants. Also, obviously, for decks I like, like Cosmo and, uh, Super Quants, but it's not gonna happen. Ah yes, the Super Quantum market. Who would have forgotten? (laughs) I actually kind of rate Sebastian's multi roll to two. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna do it because I didn't think of it, but I actually rate that. I think it could happen. Like out of everything to two on this list, I think that's the most likely. Just to see how it goes. Mm. Cause like they were doing a one, two, three system for a while. Wait, what's what's um Old Mate at right now? Malicious. Two. Two? Every list he goes back and forth, so I'll guess that Malicious goes to three. <laughs> I mean Hero's not doing anything. Even when, mm-hmm. actually, in fairness, when Malicious went to two, heroes weren't doing anything. Mm-hmm. Nibiru was, like, very prominent in the game, and that deck dies so badly to Nibiru. It well, most play decks do, it. and that's why Nibiru needs to be banned and we bring Maxi back. Yeah. You shouldn't have, like, a one answer for all combo decks. Maxi's just so cool. Um, because at this point... And I've got, like, we'll get one. At this point... If a deck comes out and it plays through Nibiru, people are like, I want that deck banned. Because it plays through Nibiru. That's not fair. That's a problem. True. Um, when a card is that influential, that if it can't almost entirely beat a deck, it's a problem, that card needs to go. Maxi is like, here, you can see more of your deck so you can play through it. Nibiru is like, no, die. <laughs> um, it do be... Yeah. Um, and then Red MD to three. Uh, which is the easy thing. It's, it's it, the free point it that not doesn't happen. I could see it staying at one to be fair, but I'm gonna take a I'm gonna take a punt, say that it definitely could come back to three. Also Brad said all of this. Yay! Said for me to do his well, I mean, ban list. Nah, so, so, uh, I will tell you entirely what it is. Skill drain to two. <laughs> Look, Skill Drainer 2, I've been predicting it for many a year. So I'm gonna Cause as soon as it happens, I'm gonna kick myself. So I'm gonna I'm gonna keep digging I mean, that hole. I was there was a card that I kept putting on actually no, it was Book of Moon. And then the one time I didn't it came back to three and I was like enraged. But then um is it symbol of um heritage, heritage I kept predicting. Yeah. And I saw that come up on that 
like frankly garbage TCG player article the other day that they also said that it I didn't think back. it was that bad. I'm gonna be real. Didn't think it was that bad. It's bad. Did anyone check the author? No, I didn't see the author. <laughs> <laughs> it was Lachlan Moonlighting. <laughs> no. No, there wasn't nearly Let's as many hit to invoke. We'll, we'll read it out. Uh, my other prediction would be Electromite 1. Yeah. And. It's about time. Rats are 2. Rats are 2. Rats are 2 Yeah, exactly. So that'll be my new, my new thing going forth. Because Skill rat. Drain is going to 2 this time. I will then move on to predicting Rat to 2 from here on out. Until Rat goes to 2. Yeah. Rat that. really can't go to 2. Yes, it can. <laughs> it really can. It really can. Go to 2. It doesn't Not do, now. It doesn't do anything. Here we go. At 1. What it does up? heaps at 2. <laughs> See, this is the problem. Is there's no medium. It's not like malicious where, oh, it can be a 2 and everything's yeah. fine, but it's broken at 3. It's either it's dead at 1 or it's broken at 2. I just hate... You know, like, that it's a card that can't do anything. It, it's more, it can activate. It's to be fair, if malicious is at two, rat should probably be at two, which means that barrage should be banned. Actually, rat can come back to two as long as Nadir's servant gets hit. Because that's that's the problem with Zodiac right now is the Dogmatica mix. They're not even using the the Winda engine though. They are literally just setting up the trap. Mm. Well, the trap's broken too. The to trap is fairly good, in fairness. It's like a searchable fucking pot, like pop two. It's nuts. Um, Dan, Dan Parker on TCG Player wrote, "What I'd change on the next ban list." Um, he says, "I've been a player of this game since the Exodia pieces were at three copies each." Was that ever? Uh, yeah. Didn't the first ban list put them to one? Yeah. So. so well, with the first limit list. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But there was a time where, like, there would have there's a few months before the first limit list. Fair. Um. So yeah, he's he said lying, but <laughs> forbidden, wind up rat, which makes sense. Why if, though? Why so that Zen Mighty can come back. Why does it need to come back? Huh? Why not? What does it do? If both of them exist at the same time... I know that both a, of them exist and do the hand loop. I know that. Zen Mighty is Zen better Mighty for the deck to... than Rat. Yeah, but... Why? Zen Mighty. Uh, you can detach one XYZ material from this card, special summon one wind-up monster from your, uh, from your hand or deck. When a face-up wind-up monster on the field is destroyed and sent to the graveyard... Um, it's a win effect, who cares? You can detach one XYZ material from this card to target that monster, return it to hand. So basically, it was... Doesn't the link effectively replace this anyway? I think it should come back and wind up right should go. No, leave the rat. <laughs> they also said Gossip Shadow to one. Uh, uh, sorry, to zero, which I agree with. Zexel to zero. It, it's VFD but better, and everyone wants VFD banned. It's easier to search, can't be VFD'd. Look, actually, I don't mind... Oh, I can't be Nibiru. Those two, like... <laughs> Ghost Dog is the only thing that hits this, as long as you wait. Like, those two cards only <laughs> exist for degeneracy, so it makes sense to hit them. Celine? That's so random. Banned. I don't know why they, they want Celine banned. I'm pretty sure it's so he can bring back... Uh... Electromat? Maybe not. Uh, guess not. Um... Let's see why he said this. We could uh, do a deep dive on this dude's predictions. Have we covered everything that we need to cover before we... Uh, he just said... That Pendulum is too good. Because Celine makes uh, Axis Code Talker too easy. What planet is this dude on? Pendulum haven't been good since Electromite went away. They just haven't. This dude literally probably works for Konami then. Um, he said Gateway of the Six banned, as it should be, and Red Reboot banned, which as it probably should be. No. Absolutely. No. There's already too much back row removal. I don't think it needs to be banned. That one. It needs sure. to be banned. It, it, it's the same way Soul Charge was. 
It's like, you see it, you probably win against a back row deck. Soul Charge, you see it, you probably win. And it's sacky because it's at one. It needs to be... I think it needs to be gone, in, in my opinion. Obviously, people can believe whatever they want if they wish to be wrong. <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit! This dude's limit list is nuts! Whoa! So, Ben 10 to 1, sure. Snow to 1? No. Not right now, no. Ib to 1? Not no. No. Tempest Magician to 1 only exists for degeneracy, does not actually help a deck that isn't trying to FTK? No. Mirage Stallio, sure. I want Salamon Grade to get worse. Um, <laughs> True King of All Calamities, I agree, that was on my list. Firewall, Card of Safe Return. What? <laughs> no way. Mystic Mine, you know that super meta relevant card that's played in all those lists that no list plays this? Except I think Jasper's Shadow list played it briefly and was like, oh, this sucks, and he got rid of it. My prank kids list plays it. I also played it briefly and I hated it. Yeah. Uh, this is the most out there fucking hit I've ever seen. Pot of Desires to one. I, what the fuck? I said this in the group chat. He just wants rogue decks to die. <laughs> oh, you want draw power? No! <sighs> At what point has Pot of Desires ever been a problem? Yeah, it's always been fair. Like, you're giving up cost, like, cost, banishing 10 face down, you cannot recur them easily, and it's, like, very ashable. It's, like, 100% ash bait. Yeah, and it's just, it's just a well thought out card, I've always liked it. Yeah, the design for it's been great. Yeah, it's, so, like, it's, like, the one thing they've ever done right, why, like, why are you hitting it? I bet this dude plays invoked. <laughs> What kind of bullshit fucking Because he's got every other, <laughs> every other deck hit. That's some fucking... He's got Kowloon going to one and Scarlet Sanguine going to one. Nuts. He's nuts. Um, imagine hitting... Like, if it's too early for Nadir to go to one, oh, fuck is it too actually, early no, for no, Kowloon no, no. to you go to one. You know exactly what he plays? He plays Lanoid. Lanoid, <laughs> maybe. He wants Snow back. He wants Carter Safe Return. And he wants he Metaverse plays, back to three. Yeah. He plays Leonoid, 100%. By the way, play Lair of Darkness. It's an out to VFD. As long as they don't call Dark. Because it is the second. Uh, yeah, the most recent card play that yep. changes attributes. And so it, it will change the attribute of your cards on the field. So as long as they don't care about being anything but Dark, you can play them. Um, and then everything's a super polytype. He said... Uh, Mystic Mind gets the hit, so things like Metaverse can return to three per deck. I saw another field spell coming. Fire Prison! No <laughs> semi limits. <laughs> semi limits are a waste of space. Um, and then he said, True Kings return to three. And then he said, Oh my lord! Unlimited cards that are off the list. Oh my god. <sighs> Dino Might Knight, the true Draco fighter. Pankratops. Why were you talking about this guy? I don't know, it's funny. Because he's this is a sucks. Uh, Skullcrabat Joker. Red MD. Double Iris. Plush Fire. Seven of Endymion. Duloran. Ignista Prominence. To three. Rongo. No. <laughs> I don't care that you said being Gossip Shadow. <laughs> no. Chain, uh, Zen Mighty. Chain Strike. D Fisher. Draco Face Off. Absolutely could. I think it'll go to... Honestly, Draco Face Off is a ways off yet, but it'll go back to two first. Into the Void. No. no. Uh, rank Up Magic Argent. <laughs> Chaos Force. Sure. No. Salomon Great Circle. No. Symbol of Heritage? Yes. Mm. Light Stage? No. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. <laughs> so dumb. So dumb. <laughs> Macrocosmos? <laughs> Metaverse? Skill Drain? <laughs> True King's Return and Wall of Revealing Light? Wall? <laughs> Why? <laughs> Oh my god. So, 
if he wasn't bringing it up for this reason, I will say it. Just think when you've read back on our predictions, how much worse they could be. <laughs> this is so bad. I mean, to be fair, I guess if Argent Chaos Force comes back and Zexel's banned, that's fine. I mean, sure. Because they aren't, isn't, aren't they getting Future Dragon soon? Anyway, which is just two number cards or something. Do we not already have that? Or am I thinking Numeron Dragon? Do we have it? Future Dragon. We, we had Numeron Dragon ages ago. That was yeah, the prize we, card. No, maybe we don't. No, we don't have it yet. Um, but yeah, that is... Oh, Ben also was on the original podcast uh, that we lost. So, um, uh, you can check out... Uh, Ben's video where he did, uh, he just uploaded his bandless predictions anyway. Which is, is what he does all the time. Yeah, he's always yeah, there, he's separate. Yeah. So yeah. link in the so description. You, yeah, you should go check that out. Um, because he also has the chance at taking the title of bandless predictor. Um, who, who won last time? Is this you trying to get... It wasn't me. Oh. I think we ever scored it. So, yeah, so the I, I'm is, still I, holding it. I don't think we scored the last one because we didn't want the person who actually won to know. Oh, I thought it was the one before. Now what? No, I know. You know what happened last time? We tied. Yeah, we tied, so I held it. Yeah. That's right. Um, this so is I'm why still he holding thought it. that you were asking just so that he could bring up I the fact that you still the have last it. one, I, I was like, oh, everyone gets mad at me for only doing a few, so I, I did a, like a thousand and I didn't get it. Well, we'll figure out how we're scoring this one next time. We next, don't know. Next time. So, next time. <laughs> I retain the title until someone takes uh, it from me. In the description, the Discord's there. Hit us up with your predictions. Yeah, send them through. We'll, um, or in the comments. Yeah, we'll read them out after the ban list the next yeah. time the podcast goes up. There's a very good chance that we don't get the ban list. <laughs> yeah, we're going to get one. There's a very good chance that the ban list will be out before you yeah, well, see this. <laughs> this is going up in four days. <laughs> well, no, it's going up tonight. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. We'll be tonight when they hear this. So maybe not. Maybe they watch it the next day. True. It's always time. Thank you for listening. <laughs> um, I've been Lachlan. I don't even think I introduced you. Nope. Thank you, uh, you're I'm Jake. No, no, I'm the mysterious voice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And special guest, the editor. And we're going to brag. The studio audience is still recording, by the way. They're still hissing at us. <laughs> Alright, bye. <laughs> uh.